Making a Positive Difference. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 99. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 99, January 23rd, 2015 edition. As always, I'll be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, all the resources, tools, tutorials, everything that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to OneCommunityUpdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, finished the image research and initial design work for the first 50% of the Human Body Lesson Plan mind map. You can see that here. Behind the scenes, we also completed another 30% of the Human Body Lesson Plan design itself, which brings us to 60% complete there. This last week, we also added the complete explanations you see here for the Lesson Plan's How-To tutorial page. These descriptions go with the image we created the week before to teach people all the components of the Lesson Plan pages. This brings the Lesson Plan How-To page to about 50% complete. Next, we'll be providing several complete and detailed Lesson Plan examples and an FAQ. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food researched and added two resource sections to the open source beans hub. We also did this for the open source beets hub, the open source celery hub, the open source lettuce hub, and the open source corn hub. We additionally began adding images to the excellent work Benjamin Sessions has been doing for the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan that is now about 20% done on the website. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing continued laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture assembly details. You can see a behind the scenes image of this work in progress here. We estimate we are now about 10% complete with what is needed for the website. Also behind the scenes, we finished the first 10% of the earth dome window and door framing reformatting details needed before moving these specifics to the website. Both the Murphy bed furniture and earth dome window and door framing details are part of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign, as well as the earth bag village. Also for that campaign, we completed a website edition of the total video outline specifics for site clearing, preparation, and maintenance sections of the site. 
And in addition to this, Samuel Soroister, permaculturist and sustainable designer from Green New World, created this initial draft of our updated bathroom designs for two of the four toilet domes in the Earthbag Village. This design will incorporate increased water collection, reuse of gray water to flush the toilets, and provide an alternative to the vermiculture design we'll use for the other two bathrooms. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team doubled the number of hardware components on the open source eco pool design page. Thanks to the information and specifics provided by Jennifer Engelmeyer, our eco pool and spa specialist and founder of loveyournaturalpool.com. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created new social media imagery and updated and featured our lesson plans for life page that shares the 12 lesson plans we've completed and the additional 30 we're still working on. We also did this for our Honesty and Integrity Core to Values page, sharing how we use honesty and integrity as a value in our decision-making process and strategy for global change. We also added new icon links to our website, making it easier to volunteer, donate, shop, and find updates just like this one. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. Everything one community is doing and creating is about making a positive difference. And our specific strategy for accomplishing that is open source and free sharing the foundations of a sustainable civilization. This includes open source and highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, economics, which is for-profit and non-profit business creation, education, fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship. And taking all of these components and designing them so that they can be implemented either individually or in their ultimate expression, which is as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. A hub that is self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and specifically designed to be self-replicating because it teaches other people how to develop teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. And the foundation of making those things self, making these hubs self-replicating is demonstrating it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so people want to create it. See, we believe that if we build one community as the first of these hubs and we invite people to visit it and when people come and visit and experience everything that it is that we're creating that they will want to create something like it too and so our goal is to create the open source blueprints tools tutorials resources all the foundations and give them away for free through our open source and free sharing model and then to help the people that want to create this to duplicate it and the model itself helps others to duplicate it as well and so as people duplicate this model and they contribute their modifications, their adaptations, their ideas for how to make it better, how to make it different, how to change it, how to meet different specific needs, as those ideas are contributed to the global collaborative, to the global cooperative, then the resource database will grow. And it will have more and more resources in it that appeal to a broader and more diverse audience. And so the outreach increases, the number of people that, that can be provided with what they want increases, and as those people participate, then they create more 
resources, blueprints, tools, tutorials as well. And this is how we can transform the planet within one generation. The details of how this is possible is on our website. You can see everything that I'm talking about on there, the self-replicating model. How this self-replicating model can be put together and designed so that if one community creates and inspires two more communities the first year, and those two communities inspire four more communities the next year after that, and then eight more the year after that, and 16, and 32, and 64, and you continue this process. In less than 30 years, we could conceivably transform the entire planet into a place that works for everybody. Addressing poverty, addressing homelessness, addressing starvation, addressing lack of education, addressing social inequality. All of these things by giving people more of what it is that they want in such a way that they can participate and in their participation it makes a positive difference for other others. So this is why we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that see the idea that we're creating and say, hey, if we can get this one model built and we can invite enough people to experience it and participate in it and we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough so that the idea begins to spread on its own, we will not only, we will be 3D printing, essentially, complete sustainable villages, which means that we will be creating the foundations for a new sustainable civilization. The possibility to bring humanity into a new golden age of creativity, cooperation, collaboration, peace, fulfilled living, and an increased happiness for everyone. It is possible to create a world like this if enough people participate. And so our idea is to make participation easy and attractive and to give people a way to experience it before they have to get involved to define and specifically share how many hours it will take to build a sustainable village, exactly what tools are needed, what resources are needed, here's the blueprints, here's how to work with your county, all of the details, all the specifics necessary to make it as easy as possible to duplicate and then to work with people to improve those open source blueprints, those open source tutorials, and to then include their cooperation collaborative uh, input as well and their creation process and their creative output also to grow, to grow the end result. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like something that you would like to participate in, if our way of making a positive difference is something that you would like to be a part of, we invite you to join us. Get involved with what our team is creating. We have lots of ways for people to participate, from pioneers, which are the people that will move to the property and help build one community, the actual physical infrastructure, and then host people to come and experience it, to consultants and partners, which are the people that just donate and volunteer their time in whatever way works best for them. And then we have internet participation as well. You know, just sharing our information. We are on all of the social media networks. Sue is our most popular and favorite social media network, but we are also on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on, all, we are on Google+. Plus. We are on all the different social media networks. So just sharing what it is that we're doing is also a wonderful way to support this movement, support our project, because if people don't know what it is that we're doing then how can we grow? The more people that know what it is that we're doing, the faster we grow, the faster we can build our team, the faster people are putting energy into what it is that we're creating, the more open source blueprints that we can put out, the faster we can create everything that we're creating, and the more likely we are to achieve our number one goal, which is what we are looking for right now, and that is making contact with the individual or group that would like to help us get the property off the market. It's the number one thing that can help us right now is to find that individual or group that would like to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community to help us get the property that we've been working with for four years now off the market so we can actually get boots on the ground and start taking our whole open source process to a completely new level as we share the specifics of that location, why it was chosen so that tens of thousands of people will be able to visit annually and how that's actually possible to share the details of what it looks like, where it's located, and to finally be able to give an answer to all the people that contact us and ask us, where's the property I'm interested but I need to know where you're going to be first. So if you're somebody who has that res those resources, if you're a connector, or if you're somebody who, who knows people who know people, we appreciate you sharing our project with those folks and sharing our project uh, just uh, publicly as well. So with that, 
I'd like to say thank you for all the small donations that we get. They allow our organization of all unpaid volunteers to be able to continue to function. They help pay for our website expenses and our basic operating expenses. I'd like to say thank you for all the people that send us emails and contact us with suggestions or make comments on the videos. Thank you to everybody who shares what it is that we're doing. Of course, we will continue to make a positive difference going into 2015 as we continue this wonderful new year that is already off to an amazing start. And as always, I like to say that we will... We will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.